Hi, the Boo here reporting live from Amsterdam for WeWeBlogs.com. I'm with Rona Nishli from Albania. So, tell us, can you explain a bit your song and what it's about? For those of us that don't speak the language, <laughs> what is it you're singing about? Um, the, the, the song is, has a title, Masoos, um, which in English means personal. Initially it has, had the title personal, but for artistic reasons and the way it sounded, I wanted to choose Suez in Latin. It refers to a, a difficult uh, time period through which I have passed, and through which I guess a lot of people have passed. And I just want to transmit through my inner voice uh, the message that they should seek for good things and light at the end of the tunnel because only if they search for it along with the people who help with the people that they have around they, they will find it. So this is basically uh, the, the general message of the song. So is it about a, a breakup thing or it's about No, no. Okay. It's about uh, life and expectancies. Okay, okay. And how are you planning on staging the, the performance in Baku or is it a secret you can't tell us? Okay. <laughs> Can you talk about the video a bit? How long it took you to make this? Because the video is really amazing. Thank you. I am very happy that you liked it. Um, the, I've worked for the video with a um, very famous and professional uh, theater director back in June. And uh, we wanted through this video and the minimalist approach to tell the life through the tongue, through abstract form of art, we intended to choose as less figures and metaphors uh, within the video and they express the, the life absurdity. Things that happen in life that are unexpected, that are surprises, and you simply don't find an answer to explain them. And what so the, are you singing full time, or are you also doing other work on the on the side as well? Yeah, I'm doing other things uh, because music is my passion, and uh, I want to be very focused when I uh, when I work in music. This is why I quit everything that I had from the uh, end of December to end of May. I'm totally focused on Eurovision, and uh, I was focused initially in January on recording the song uh, because we had a, a tremendous journey. We went in LA. And uh, we put a song uh, in prestigious studios such as um, the Ocean Way and Capitol Records. And it was an honor for me, and I was overjoyed to have experienced all this. And then we worked on, on a video, and now we are touring, uh, visiting few countries. So uh, basically, this is the best experience that I had in my life to now. And who do you think are, is your big competition in Baku? You know, I don't. Music is not a competition for me. Uh, Basically, technically, practically, it is a competition. But for me, I cannot, I cannot feel, it. I cannot sense it as a competition. It's, it's, it's something that I, that I do with a, with a great passion and love. Uh, and this is a, a scene that brings together all those people, and uh, it's good that it gives an opportunity to make connections and networks and to make people, uh, to, 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 to bring those people close and to love each other. So I guess this is the main aim of, of the contest, <laughs> but of this event. And so uh, I, I guess everybody who is there has certain values and this is why they are there. So I'm very happy to be among others. And have you already connected with some of the other contestants here in Amsterdam? Yes, uh, with uh, San Marino and uh, Belgium and Slovenia, but we just came and we were uh, very uh, busy with the interviews and everything else, so basically it's Till tomorrow, I will have a chance to talk more with others as well. And are you going to a party tonight as well after the concert, or you think you go home and sleep? Oh no, I don't go home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well we find you out on the dance floor then. And yes. you have a very powerful voice. How old were you when you realized you could sing? <laughs> I. Um, I started, I, I became a known for a public uh, when I was 17. And till that age I actually didn't want to sing. I mean, I just don't know why, but it was this contest, talents contest in uh, Tirana back in 2004, which made me go and uh, tell my talent there. And many people on our website have asked about your unique hair. Really? Yes, they love it. <laughs> Could you, you talk about it? I don't know, it's uh, dreadlocks, rasta, 
I mean, this is, I guess people saw it in uh, many other, uh, at many other persons, so I, I, I just don't know, I have them for eight years now, and uh, it's something that I love, and I guess it gives a kind of impression of my, of my character. Perfect, well thank you so much, we wish you all the best of luck. Thank you.